Hey guys, so I look a little bit hot and bothered because I'm in Scotland and it's 21 degrees right now, but we are heading to warmer climates. We're going off tomorrow morning on a late honeymoon. Um, Mia is coming along with us. We're heading to the Caribbean, We're going to the Dominican Republic for two weeks and I cannot wait. So I'm just preparing us right now. I've laid everything out in the dining room, taken it over. Um, Ingemar has taken her for a walk and I'm just gonna try and get packed so that we're sorted, we can have an early bed tonight, and then taxi off to the airport at three o'clock in the morning. So I'll just run through really quickly in case you are also traveling with a baby or a young infant. Um, this is the first time that we've done long haul. Mia has flown numerous times back and forth from Iceland to Scotland, uh, but this is the first time that we've gone long haul. So. I'm a little bit nervous because she is teething right now, but hopefully it's going to be fine. We're just going to kind of entertain her. Hopefully we'll have some space for her to kick around and feed her. <laughs> and that's kind of as much as we can do really. So here is a crazy overview of how I've taken over the dining room. Um, I'm just going to start off with the transport. So here in the UK, if you take a black cab, black taxi, then it's exempt to have a car seat, so you don't have to have a car seat. So we're taking the Ergo baby with us, which is wonderful for traveling. I definitely recommend this for in the airport. So we'll probably have Mia in that, but we are taking a kind of baby stroller push here. So I'll show you that later, but that will be in the hold. So it'll be folded up and inside the airplane. Okay, so for onboard, this is the rucksack that I use most of the time for traveling. I like to kind of have it in between Ingemar and I so that we can both reach for things. I have it super organized and stacked up exactly how I need things. We have a bib inside here, so it's always in there. I know where it's gonna be. Inside here, we have a spare tote bag as well. So if I need to kind of put anything um, separate, then it can go in there. This is a waterproof rucksack, which is great for any spills or anything. And in here, we all have, basically have bibs everywhere. So there's a spare bib and there's a spare spoon for extreme hunger with Mia. <laughs> um, so that's our rucksack. And then the next most important thing is the change bag. So I like these pods because they're so compact and you can just top up for it. So that's the best thing that I have. Fits in here um, and it's just so easy because there's no space really, <laughs> no spare space um, for changing a baby on board in the toilets. So you really are quite cramped. So a small change bag is perfect. And just to go through this really quickly, we are using disposable nappies on this trip just because it's easiest. Uh, we've got ba nappy bags there, nappies, there's wipes down the front there, spare change of clothes, spare vest, um, a muslin. There is some baby paracetamol, so Carpol in the side. And yeah, I think that's basically everything for the change bag. So this is my kind of catch-all emergency bag. Um, it's basically got all the sort of remedies that you need for babies. So we've got a bib in the front, we've got some Carpol, and then we've got these teething balls, which are fantastic. They're chamomile, and they just kind of calm her down and distract a little bit. If it gets super bad, then we've got this for numbing her gums. So Anbisol, here a spare dummy. <laughs> Obviously you need that, a teething toy, there is some hand gel, there's a disposable bib, a little teething toy and rattle, um, and then spoon for medicine, and some Bongella. Yep, so basically that all fits in that tiny little pouch and goes everywhere with us. This might be strange to take to the Caribbean, but I'm going to take a fleecy blanket, you know, for comfort from Mia um, if it is cold, but also we can wrap her up and she can have good snooze if we have some space on the plane, fingers crossed. Another little toy, she still loves these, um, even though they're probably for a little bit younger, but she's still enjoying that, so that's great. Then I've taken out shorts for me for arrival in case I'm too hot, and a spare outfit for her and a couple more bibs there. Moving on to the food that I'm taking on board. So first of all, we've got our sippy cup. I'll fill that with water. I'm gonna take one of these uh, reusable pouches and I'll put some milk in this. Then we have the bib, a spoon. I've got a couple of spoons in here and here <laughs> and in the big bag um, and also in my handbag. So a few pouches for kind of the, the meals, but hopefully she'll do a lot of finger food anyway. Another tote bag, just because they're always handy and then a bag full of goodies. So I've got kind of biscuits for her teething on. I'll get some cream cheese so that we can put some cream cheese on uh, the rice cakes. Bananas, super food for babies. Um, and some custard, which is really handy because you don't need to put it in the fridge. 
so that's pretty good for taking with us that will easily all fit in there just to clarify this is what I'm going to take on board in this rucksack but I also have extra food in the main bag so just to show you what the bag looks like basically change bag you can easily pull that out and slot it back down the water and her food all in here so you can actually just have this beside you separately but it's really easy to work it this way and then everything else fits easily into there okay so for the main hold luggage we're just going to be living in swim costumes and so on so we're not going to need a lot um i have packed a load of food i'll maybe attack that one first now bear in mind Mia is 10 months old. We are at an all-inclusive resort and it's gonna be amazing. She's gonna be eating everything there um, and we will be fully encouraging that. To start off with, we're bringing porridge, which seems kind of ridiculous for a Scottish person to bring porridge on holiday, but there we go. So two boxes, she usually goes through one in a week, so that should be fine. We've got a bowl with us and her spoon, basically spoons everywhere. Never used these before, but I'm just bringing snacks to make sure that we have enough stuff with us. Um, so we have some biscotti. Please don't judge on anything that I've packed in here because we don't live in the UK. These are all kind of new to us, so I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done research into them. But I know that the Ellis Kitchen stuff, we use this in Iceland. Um, and it's just really handy and convenient, but I am gonna bring my own pouches because there'll be things like smoothie bars and all that kind of thing. So I'll be able to mush things up with a fork and get them in here. And then the OCD queen and me loves a good packing cube. So. Um, I have, I'm the only one bringing shoes. Ingemar is only bringing a pair of gym shoes and traveling in trainers, so there we go. Um, I've got some Stravi sandals, some flip flops and some sandals. This pouch is mine, this is Mia's, and this is Ingemar's. That is all we are taking clothes wise. We have toiletries here, and then swim stuff and gym stuff. I'm sure they'll have loads of stuff, but it is always good to kind of just have um, some toys for in the pool. We have an inflatable ball that's got sparkly bits in it. We've got a big inflatable here. It is a butterfly. Yep, so she'll be able to lie on that. So we're gonna play some Travel Monopoly. And then I Hamish the Hairy Haggis, which will be quite funny to read her a Scottish book whilst in the Caribbean. I've never taken this many toiletries on a holiday before, even kind of going backpacking <laughs> for, for months. Uh, but I guess things are different when, you, when you're packing for a whole family. So we have mosquito repellent and suntan lotion. Basically, we've got vitamin B, which Ingemar and I will take to kind of, it's basically supposed to help you avoid getting bitten. We have mosquito bands, which I have read up on and we're gonna have it on the buggy. Obviously not too close to Mia, but hopefully close enough that it's gonna help. Uh, we will not be spraying her, but we will spray ourselves. And then we have some, an after bite, which, is brilliant one of these is just fantastic if you're going anywhere there's mosquitoes so pick one of these up have baby suntan lotion factor 50 and you've got to make sure that the um uvb protection is high so four or five star is what you're looking for so that's what we've picked up for her i always use the once a day stuff so i've got a factor 20 and then well a factor 30 and then a factor 20 to be using uh, we've got aloe vera because i am scottish but also i'm traveling with a viking so it's inevitable that there'll be a little bit of burnt. Definitely not on Mia though. Her swimming costume has SPF in it as well and she has a million sun hats but also one that is a swim costume with SPF. Done. That took the grand total of four minutes to actually get it all in there. That I think is probably record time. I did start laying things out last night but I genuinely think it only took me two hours to find all of this. We have covered every eventuality. We are going to a five star all inclusive resort so I don't think that we're going to struggle to find or get anything that we need but we have everything covered for Mia and that's really all that matters. I'm quite happy to just be in my swimming costume by the pool. That's definitely going to close. It's underweight so we're fine and there is a little bit of space in there for some shopping. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a great holiday and happy travels if you are also off on a family holiday soon. I will see you soon, bye!